Good evening, good morning, wherever you're at in the world. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Theory. My name is Chadwick. Let's talk about the recent meme coin explosion that I think is going to cause cryptocurrencies to start rallying soon. And I'm specifically talking about altcoins that are sitting at the top of this screen. So check them out, guys, if you're not familiar with these current altcoins, because I don't think we're going to have to wait till 2024. Like everybody's saying, I actually think that the crypto push will happen very soon. And I'm going to explain in this video why I think these things. So let's jump right into it, guys. So, as you've seen, we've had an explosion with altcoins. I mean, an absolute crazy, crazy explosion. Not just something that's, you know, here today, gone tomorrow type stuff. This is all around the board crazy. And I'm going to be doing a live show after this video, so if you're catching this video, come on down to the live show. We'd love to have you there. But look at all this stuff. These are all top gainers in the last 24 hours. WSB DAP, Jitaru, Suka, OG Inu, I mean, Wojak, Poo. I mean, look at all these. These are crazy. Pepe creeping back up as well. Baby Dogecoin. Now, what's interesting here is that these all seem to start out on Uniswap. It's what we've seen recently with this Wojak, with Pepe, and a lot of the other other um, altcoin meme coins that have been coming about. Basically, just ERC20 tokens to be very straightforward. We saw Pogai. I mean, look at this stuff. This is absolutely hilarious. Um, so they build a quick little website. Um, they, I mean, this website probably takes a web developer maybe 15 minutes to build. They find somebody that has a big Ethereum wallet. They post it on Uniswap, Arbitrum, and all these just garbage can cryptos on these decentralized exchange have you and they pump them and then what do you idiots do well you jump in and you basically get wrecked immediately because that's all this is guys it's a pump and dump it's very simple you come in you lose your money that's what that's what's going on here you come in you lose your money so basically this isn't even a casino. This isn't even like blackjack or poker or anything with a, uh, a purpose. You literally come in and give away your money. It's like that easy. It's like, okay, I'm here. I'm ready to give you my money now. Goodbye. None of these have a development team. None of these have anything. They are simply an ERC-20 token that I could, I could create. In fact, I might have created all of these. That's just how easy this actually is to do. Now, had, had people known this, they wouldn't invest it, but the new people that come into crypto, or even if you have uh, cryptocurrency, Ethereum, that kind of thing, you're basically just giving your money away. That's all this is. It's basically a smart contract to give your money away. That is what's going on here because these are all starting out on Uniswap, not this one specifically, but all these, uh, this is on Pancake Swap as well. Um, these are all basically, uh, they're trying, the crypto exchanges, and these decentralized exchanges, they are all working together to try to see how truly stupid the cryptocurrency, the current cryptocurrency community currently is. And there's two ways that they can approach this. They can either say, okay, well, nobody's coming in. We know there's nobody new coming in right now because nobody, the, the, the type idiots that are coming into crypto right now don't have any money to uh, even participate in this uh, idiocracy that's going on, so um, we'll just see how long this plays out and the less inflows into these uh, cryptocurrencies when we keep pumping the price that we see, the less people we know is coming in, therefore for the cryptocurrency exchanges can therefore pump the cryptocurrencies that matter. They're all on the top screen, you guys. So, or they are seeing how people are interacting with these new meme coin ERC20 tokens. Again, it's just a simple deployment contract on the Ethereum blockchain and seeing how people are just jumping into these. So they're saying, oh, well, look at these idiots come on in and just giving us our money. So they're seeing they're seeing like what type of um, what type of idiot are we dealing with here? What how stupid is the cryptocurrency community uh, at its true core? How stupid are they right? And or the flip side of this, they're seeing how loyal the cryptocurrency community is in regards to the coins that matter. Uh, I don't think anybody in the, the top coins up here are even diving into these uh, these meme coins, even if they go to uh, you know 
a, a, a million percent gains. It's just not the root core of what this is, and it will never be um, what cryptocurrency is. Now, that's what I personally think is going on in the this whole meme coin push. Uh, Winnie the Pooh Bear. I mean, they're starting to use things. I mean, they're they're starting to use things to like get people like, what is this? What is this thing going on? But really, this is a marketing push to confuse uh, new people about what is really going on. So guys, I did want to make a video on this because I think it's pretty interesting how all these are starting on Uniswap, um, decentralized exchanges, and then slowly but surely, the exchanges that are, have been known for uh, running pump and dumps 2017 when I was in crypto are therefore taking, uh, taking the lead uh, after they've already performed on Uniswap and then kind of continuing the push into um, additional scamming on top of their platform. So it's pretty interesting to say the least. So I do want to make a video about it. Uh, drop it in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if you guys think I'm just talking out of my ass here. But every single one of these, uh, most, most every single one of these uh, new meme coin pushes has started on Uniswap. Uh, and then they'll go on to Mexi, uh, uh, Bitmart and some of these exchanges uh, most recently have been promoted by YouTubers as well uh, Just to give you an idea of what might be going on here uh, This could all be the same creator the creator and I don't mean a creator just really the the the, the funder or the person funding this because it doesn't take a uh, It doesn't take any kind of I mean I can create an ERC 20 token guys You don't have to be classically trained to uh, create an ERC 20 token. I've I've created basically the equivalent of an ERC-20 token on Waves platform. You can do it on Binance Smart Chain. You can do it on a variety of different cryptocurrency uh, chains. And it does not take a rocket scientist, it does not take a blockchain engineer to build out an ERC-20 token. You just have to have the money to provide the liquidity, to provide the initial uh, payment to get on some of these exchanges. And you'd be surprised uh, how easy it is and how cheap it actually really is to um, get your coin listed on an exchange. Uh, and I've done the research for you guys. I've actually gone through the hassle of contacting contacting crypto exchanges to see how this process works, to see how they vet a token to be coming onto their platform. So this isn't just me just sporadically coming out of here and saying, hey, you know, I think this, I, I think this might be what's going on. No, 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 it's much deeper than that. That is what's going on right here. And um, as you see these coins kind of come into existence out of nowhere, you'll notice they're taking part on the exact same exchanges. So are, are these exchanges the real um, big bag holders in crypto? Possibly. Gate.io, uh, most recently Bitmart has been, uh, I mean, been promoted like uh, on several YouTube channels recently. And uh, I think they're all getting paid to do this. I think they're all taking part in this meme coin um I mean, it is, it's really silly to be to be quite frank with you guys. So I would stay away from all of these. I wouldn't, I wouldn't invest the dime. Uh, if you want to go down to Vegas or you want to go to a casino, I think you'll have better luck than trying your luck with these cryptocurrencies. And if you do uh, jump into these, um, you know, uh, I told you so. I'll just say that. So we'll wrap up this episode, guys. I got to get on this live here in about uh, a little less than 10 minutes. So I'm going to wrap this episode up. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, or some stuff you'd like to see on this channel, Feel free to drop it in the comments section. I'd love to uh, to hear your feedback on some of this stuff, and um, we'll kind of see how it's uh, see how this all plays out over the next couple weeks, years, decades, and uh, that kind of thing. So we'll catch you in the next video later.